Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. We are having lunch at Steak and Shake, which we haven't done in a long time. Uh, we are joined with Michael. Did you call this lunch? What? Did you, you call me to this say lunch? something? <laughs> no. Okay. You stay silent. Is it dinner? Yeah. Crap. It is. Di okay. Never mind. It's dinner. I don't know what time it is. I, we, we just did. A, we played uh, Earthbound for 16 hours straight yesterday. I don't remember what day it is. To be fair, we all woke up. Before we knew. Yeah. We didn't wake up until like one or so, and you woke up a little later than that. So. I'm trying these shooter things. They're pretty good. I got Chipotle, Frisco, and ketchup and mustard. Chipotle was the best. Should have done three of those. Should have done four of those. Uh, would you get just double cheese? Yeah. And you did the... Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were going to do the, the Royal Burger. Oh, and uh, oh, we got milkshakes because apparently Steak and Shake is so friggin cheap that you can buy all of this stuff and it's, it, it's very cheap. I can't think of the words right now. My, my mind is shot. One of the main things that we did today is uh, we took all of that trade-in stuff that we got from the Craigslist deal the other day and actually went to Player's Choice and uh, traded it in. Now, we kept a lot of stuff. See all those piles of games over there? There's like four piles. We kept all that stuff, but all the other stuff was duplicates and we had two, two Super Nintendos and all these controllers and a uh, N64. So we went and traded all that in and we got um, quite a bit, quite a bit of trade-in value. So we were able to get all of this stuff at absolutely no cost. We, it was a straight trade for trade. And this is what we got. We got uh, 32X because we didn't have one, and it has the uh, the cables and the hookups. We don't have any uh, 32X games, but now we have one, so we can actually uh, hook that into the Genesis, which should work just like this, right? Done. Now we're good to go with a monster of a unit. Uh, and there's the uh, AC adapter for that. Um, we picked up uh, Resident Evil 2 for N64, Wave Race 64, uh, along with the manual, Star Fox Assault Complete, which is pretty cool. Uh, Pocahontas, Fun Games, Prince of Persia, Sylvester and Tweety, and the Bernstein Bears Camping Adventure. And I'm pretty sure that these three have the manuals in there too. The other ones don't, but um, those do. So that was, that was honestly, that was pretty good. Um, I, I'm pretty happy with the trade-in stuff. And uh, now we have a few extra cool games. Because this is all, all this stuff was duplicates. So it was a really good Craigslist deal. Are you playing with the kitties? You keep still putting my hand under the bag. Are you playing with mommy? <laughs> that means that means yes. Anyway, um, at some point we'll have to get a uh, 32x game to actually test that. Uh, they they had some pretty fantastic games there. They had what was that? What, what was it called? It was a Sega. It said Sega CD 32x game, and it was like a zombie shooter with motion picture. I don't remember. Um, it looked fantastic, though. Anyway, I'm excited. More stuff to put on the shelf, I guess. Well, I've had another accomplishment in uh, Final Cut Pro 10. I edited my first Pokemon episode on uh, on Final Cut Pro 10, which is a big deal because there's more editing in that than there has been for um, some of the other things. And actually, as I was going through, um, there were just a few times where I was doing stuff and I was thinking about it too hard and I thought it a little simpler and it just worked. It was great. I was like, man, Final Cut Pro 10, man, you got my back. There's a few things that it took longer to do in 7 that I was just like cutting and it just did it and I was like, awesome. And then I got to the part where I was actually going to add the bio and I was like, well, this isn't too big of a problem. I'm just going to use the transform tools. You make, you know, a few keyframes. Keyframe at the start, keyframe at the bottom and it goes straight and then, you know, show the screen and then go back. Um, real simple process. I do it in Final Cut Pro 7 in several seconds. Okay, Final Cut Pro 10 is a great program, but they have screwed the transform tool up to hell and back. What the heck did they do to that poor thing? Um, by default, your lines are uh, Bezier, or Bezier, I don't really know how to pronounce that, I think about this, like Bezier curves, so they're curved, and they're not linear, they're not straight. Linear is not the default for some reason. Um, I guess they want you to be fancy or something. Um, I wanted my lines straight, and I didn't even—I couldn't even find the stupid place to change that. And I had to search around, and I finally found the place to change it, and it still didn't work. The reason it didn't work right is because it's still accelerating and de and decelerating um, the the clips, and. 
they that was a feature in Final Cut Pro 7, and I, I think I believe it was called Smooth In. You could right click in the viewer and, and hit Smooth In, and it would do that. It would do the little acceleration. But I hate that, and it doesn't work really well for me. And and it, it just oh god, not good, not good, not good. I mean, I I've loved the application up to this point, but if I'm going to get through this LP. I'm going to have to really get it down because I'm I had some serious trouble tonight getting that to work and it still doesn't look quite, quite right. There's only one Pokemon in Pokemon episode 20. It's Graveler. If you look at that, you'll notice that it's not moving quite like the other ones do. Um, when the when it zooms out to the Game Boy and comes back, it just doesn't look quite right. And it took me 30, 45 minutes to get it to look like that. So yeah, gonna have to work on that more. So. Final Cut Pro 10 is good, but <laughs> there are still some things that, that need help. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Today was a, a pretty good day. I haven't had a lot of sleep, but I'm going to catch up on sleep tomorrow. Um, but just for the fact that we were able to turn a lot of that Craigslist stuff into things that we actually care about is pretty cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?